Hey everybody, and welcome back to uh, Falcon Place Craft the World. Let me get out of the menu here. And uh, last episode, we survived the fucking horde uh, attack, which was uh, quite terrifying. And maybe, and for some reason, my dudes just don't want to build anymore. And it's really bothering me. So, uh, I suppose it's my fault, because if anything, this should probably start turning into like a second floor, so to say. So let's make this a second floor like so, and we'll keep that open like so, and then uh, we'll go about it and make this uh, kind of a second floor, essentially. And let's see, turn this uh, over this way. I'd imagine it's probably in our best interest to... Unable to build wooden wall there. Oh, is that be oh that's because my uh, my uh, stockpile is kind of, quote-unquote, on the way. So let's see here. Um, that's going to be our second floor. There's going to be kind of a, a flooring for it. Okay, so now it means that I have to, unfortunately, kind of mine this out over here. And this is just going to be... I'm going to have to actually break down this area. So I remove the front wooden wall. And we'll set up another wall like so. Another one right there. And I suppose this will have to just be regular flooring and regularly. So, either way, last episode we did survive a goddamn raid. Uh, another horde, I should say. Not a raid, I'm thinking of uh, Craft the World, or Rim World here. Let me go ahead and put that right there and that build right there. Okay, don't, don't break that down. Okay, so now let's quickly set it up to be a wall. Same with this here. And then we can set ourselves on another one right there when we get the chance. Okay, good. So now we're kind of uh, getting a little bit of an upper type of vertical thing. I mean, our main priority is being underground and being hidden because uh, we're terrified. <laughs> well, I'm terrified. I'm not sure about these doors. They, they're terrified. They're terrified, too. They always run away, too. So, um, obviously, we do, as a matter of fact, have to start uh, thinking about mining some more stuff. So let's actually send them out to go over here. Mine all this shit out over here. Get some of the steel mill, some of these berries. And as a matter of fact, take down these, uh... I suppose if you want to gather some water, might as well do it. Alright, so we want to start going down a little bit underground now and finding some, like, you know, really important things and probably, like, rare items. Everything that's kind of, we've been doing has just been kind of, uh, roaming up and above here. Uh, the back wall is, I'm not entirely sure why it's, uh, <laughs> well, I guess I built the wrong one of these. Oh, there we go. So you go over there, and then, yeah, once we get the chance, we'll be able to build another one here. But we do need wood again because we are completely out of wood. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Oh, uh, well, actually, we're not, because we're nothing but dwarves, so it's kind of like a big sausage fest going on over here. Uh, let's see here. Other than that, I'd like to actually gather all this water here, because I feel that I could kind of make this base go downwards, so when the uh, raids do come, they have, like, a harder time kind of going up and above, essentially, what I'm trying to get at here. So, um, hopefully these guys can start gathering some uh, material. Oh, some of this water as well. Get it out of the way. Gather this water as well. This guy just took a dive down there. What a bro. Apparently hurt himself, because now he's not moving. You want to move? I'll move and do something. So let's actually spit this up now. Yep. Dude, come on, just get out of the fucking wall. Where are you going? Okay, whatever. So our things over here, they're actually working out over here. Uh, fight this dude when you guys want to get the chance and do it. Let's take down these last few wooden, or not wooden, last few tombstones over here. Alrighty, why are you guys going all the way through there when there's like a goddamn portal right there? I don't really understand that. Okay, what else do we got going on over here? Uh, trees and... Let's see... Craziness. It's nighttime, so we are gonna... Oh, there's a lot of trees over here. So let's put another portal over here and have them work on this as well. Uh, Chicken Man, I don't want to attack you, but you're kind of giving me no choice there. There you go. He's good. Alright, so what's going on over here? Other than that, uh, kind of building our base like so. Snail Man, get out of my base. Snail men's need to get out of my base, honestly. Alright. Alright, we're fighting zombies now. Okay. You fight that zombie. Teach him who's boss. Alright. Somebody's drowning, unfortunately. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I should have considered that I'm in the tombstone area. I wasn't expecting him to take him down. Alright, somebody needs to help this dwarf out. You go help this dwarf out, he needs help. <laughs> He's terrified. Dude, stop twitching in the water and go help him out, right? What's wrong with you? There you go. Get your swings on. Hunter, man, you have a tank now, and only you gonna run away. Alright, guys, uh, you guys don't have to go all the way over here, just do that. Uh, if you get the chance, please be sure to take this down. The faster we do, we'll have less of these goddamn skeletons coming after us this night. And we'll be good to go. Let's forget about, um... Oh, come on, don't run away. There you go. Take down now before it, uh, emerges. Come on, come on. You can do it! Do it, dwarf man! Oh god damn it! 
<laughs> you spawned just in time. Is everybody scared of the skeleton? Come on, it's just one. It's four of you guys. Oh my god, look at these idiots. One of them's over here drowning. I hey, fucked the skeleton, man. He could fight underwater. What an asshole. That's cheating, all right, skeleton? Alrighty, uh... We did some fishing, but fortunately, not gonna work out here. Okay, these guys and their goddamn fear of water needs to stop as well. Let me break down this area. Maybe it'll s maybe spread the water out a bit. Okay, continue collecting here. Good. A uh, little tree over there we could probably use for some more wood. And let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, how's our situation over here? Oh, it seems like we knocked all this shit down, so that was pretty good. Uh, let's put another portal like so. And uh, knock this down. Get some of this going as well. There's some, uh, what is that, Oriticon was that? Or I forgot what that exactly was. It's probably not Oriticon. I'm over here thinking about Ragnarok Online back in those days. All those years and lives that I can't get back. I spent so much time on that goddamn game. Alrighty, so knock all that down. Let's see, there is a Razorback right there as well. Ah, oh, these guys. I, I, can I get you guys, like, swimming lessons? Is that one of the recipes? That'd be a great recipe, believe me. Alright, these snails over here just hanging out. There's a chicken now in, inside of our area as well. <laughs> chicken man, what are you doing inside? Okay. Uh, let's actually put down some food, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's see. Oh, steel club, yes! Alright. Oh, this will definitely help us out a bit. Now we have all the wood in the world, so everybody's gonna get a steel club. All right, well, all of my non-archers, I should say. So let's build four of those. Um, and I can instantly equip them. Good. So you get one of these. Thank you. Uh, and you are my archer, so you don't get one of them. And you get this. And I know I have fire arrows. I just haven't really used them for... I don't, I don't think I have a need for the fire arrows just yet is my concern here. All right, so there you go. If you don't have a bow, then you have a steel club. And that is pretty goddamn good. What else can we build now? A wall skin rug? I guess I'll just do it just for the experience, but... Again, I'm not really... This isn't really one of my priorities at the moment. So there you go, wall skin rug, a hunting trophy for decorating the walls. Comfort level 5, at least it'll make them a little bit more comfortable, so... That is indeed a good thing. Now that we have actually more wood, though, let's actually continue finishing fortifying our little, uh... Quasi-vertical fort here. And, um... Maybe. It'll at least give them, like, a better comfort level, I'd imagine. Because then I'd be able to hang stuff up on the walls and I'd have to be, like, underground all the time. It's probably pretty, like, you know, filled with, like, you know, <laughs> imagine this is underground. It's probably dirty and there's a bunch of bugs everywhere. So, uh, let's build, uh, let's build quite a few of this there. I'm gonna try to make it, like, for now, at least, like, three stories high. And then, um, call it quits on that here. So, uh, let's see. Good. So let's put up some walls like so. That guy just fucking dove like a fucking boss down here. Dude, are you alright? <laughs> are you guys alright? You guys are taking some mighty crazy falls, let me tell you. Okay, um, and you, where are you guys going to... Oof. Let me make it a... Let me make this a little bit of an easier walk for you. There you go. You have to go all the way over there. Okay, good. And knock this down as well. Okay. So, let's continue going over here, and this will basically be... Do have to put that up here. Let's put another one right there. Put another one right there. Um, one of the things I want to do, because I'm a little bit scared, is uh, essentially... I want to put that there, and I want to also fortify this wall once again. How about momentarily we remove the front wooden wall? Just so that I have the chance to, um... Ah, dwarf man. Go through the portal. Don't go over here. You might fall and hurt yourself again. Alright, did somebody need to knock this area down here? I guess you're gonna do it. Okay, so set that up right there. Who's under attack? Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh shit, goblins. Okay. No, 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 no! Stop going through the- stop going through the thing! Oh shit. No, don't leave the goblins alone. Don't fight them. Stop being heroes. I don't care if you have steel clubs. They're goblins. You're going to take one of them down, it seems. Dude, just run away. Don't risk it, man. These guys have yellow hair, too. They're like fucking punk rockers. You don't know what they're up to. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, you're left. Put out a portal, too. There you go. Here's a portal. Go. Run away. 
No, no, get get out of there. Get out of there. Don't fight him. Just run away. Oh, these asshole door. Uh, asshole. <laughs> don't run away. Just go away. No, don't fight him. Select the dwarf, man. <laughs> Select them. Yeah, go through the portal. There you go. You're safe. All right, forget about fighting him. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, I just realized what happened here. Okay, um... We need to, uh, quickly... <laughs> rebuild this fucking, uh, safety wall here. Okay, build that. No, don't, don't do it. Just rebuild this. Uh, we'll leave the goblins alone for now. We'll fortify and attack later. Not right now. It's kind of scary right now. Oh, God. They built the outside one, but not the front one. That's fine, I suppose. It kind of works out either way. Alrighty, so now that we've done that, let's actually go ahead and put this uh, wall back over here, I'd imagine. Okay. Uh, it's going to be scary with those goblins there, but I'm not completely uh, worried about it. Uh, as ridiculous as that sounds. Uh, right now, I just kind of want to make it through the night and actually get some... Oh, we got another goblin. Cool. Or not another goblin, but another dwarf. Cool. Let's actually really quickly equip this dwarf with some equipment here. Alright. And he gave us two steel clubs, so that's going to work out, and uh, but, but that's all we have for him. We need to build him a, a steel pickaxe. Some shoes would be nice, and give him some wooden armor as well. Can I do that right now? It's the real question, and wooden helmet? I could get him a helmet as well, so let's do that. Alright, and where is my armor at? I think it seems we should be able to build this as well. Yeah, perfectly. Add one rope exactly for an armor for this guy. Alrighty, those fucking goblins are gonna get it, believe me. I just gotta heal up my guys, and as soon as we do, we'll be able to do, like, a full-on march of attack on them, and, you know, fuck their lives up pretty good. Um, what is this that I need? Nope. Wrong one. I, I really- I think I should be able to build everybody's stone axes now, too. That's something I've been kind of, uh, slacking off on here. It'll probably make, a cutting down trees a lot easier as well. So there you go. Let's get them a stone pickaxe there and let's actually get some of these stone axes going. Uh, I'm going to imagine only probably one or two of them have any, so let's build like four or so. Alright, let's do it that way. Quip really quickly here and there you go. So you don't have one, so there you go. I think it replaces that, right? It totally does and wooden armor, steel club, good. You pass the requirements. Um, You do not have one of these, so there you go. You pass the requirements. You also need one. Otherwise, good to go. You need one of these as well. Otherwise, good to go. So I need, uh... This guy already has one. I need two more stone axes, it seems. And, uh... This guy here could do with a wooden helmet. So there you go. Two guys could do with wooden helmets, as a matter of fact. Um... This guy doesn't have one as well. So I need a... What is it? One more wooden helmet and one more wooden armor. And two more stone axes, right? Yes, okay. So really quickly here, stone axe. Uh, two stones and two pieces of wood. Oof, this might not be enough to actually make um, the wooden helmet that it requires. Nope. And I'm pretty sure I can't make the wooden armor now. Nope. Plus I need, uh, to, get a, I need to kill a little sheep. Get its wool to make some rope. Alright, so for now you're a little bit ass out of luck, bro. But, um, you know, I'll get you next time. Uh, let's see here. So, Steel Club and, uh, I was able to get you equipped. So, our new dude, Gordain, Chef Gordain, Chef, uh, Gordon Ramsay. Gordain Ramsay, essentially. Uh, he won't be able to get, but I'll get you a pickaxe for now. There you go. And I'll get you, I'll get you set up later, believe me. We'll get to you. Alright, so other than I, yeah. Actually, you know what, I can make him, uh, no, he's a minor little climber, yeah. Okay. There you go, guys. Now, the moral here is, uh, leave the goblins alone for now. I don't want to mess with them. We'll, uh, heal up, and then once we heal up, then we'll, uh, pretty much get going. Oh, uh, let's see here. We'll be able to get through the night. It seems like this was an easy night because of the fact that those goblins can and kind of wrecked our shit and kind of made us really feel insignificant about our chances of survival here, but, you know, needs to be done. Uh, let's turn this out like so. There you go. Build that over there. If you guys want to get some sleep and rest up, it's perfectly fine. Another thing I should be doing for you, as a matter of fact, is getting you some food now that I think about it. So, let's get some grilled meat going on over here. We have the leaves. Oh, I don't think we have coal, though. Oh, we have one piece of coal left. Oh, man. I need to really get some coal. Okay, and 
Grilled meat that is equipped now. What else can I... Mixed green cells. I know it's not much, guys, and I know you're kind of probably carnivores or some shit because you're crazy dwarves, but... Unfortunately, this is all we have for now, so you're gonna have to make do. Eggs, probably built for something, but we don't have this, so that's gotta be cooked before they get ready to go. Um, let's actually make a few more of these, as a matter of fact, since it doesn't require cooking. A little bit easier to go, so if you're hungry, you're starving, you can't be picky because you're fucking starving, so... Let's, uh, go back over here. Equip this on the scaffolding for now, and let's see here, uh-oh. Okay, so, uh, let's put that right there, put that like so. And... that still needs to be cooked, as a matter of fact. Alright, there you go. Um, I, I think we need another, um, bed, don't we? Because, uh, we got another guy. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we need another bed. So, uh, craft, where is our bed section? I'll be right there. Oh, fuck, we don't have the wood for it. Alright, dude, uh, one of you guys can't sleep for a while, unfortunately. Alrighty, goblins over here just drowning. Are you gonna drown? Drown yourself. Do me the favor and drown yourself. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. So let's get over here cooking away. Let's see if we can get ourselves a portal over here and start mining this guy down. And possibly this guy down. Man, this fucking ladder's getting flooded like hell over here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, let's actually knock this down since we're here. And hey, we got a melee book. Oh, nice. All right. A close combat book. Probably give that to my hunter or something. Where is this guy going? Dude, you're dangerously close to the goblins. Where are you going? Honestly, where are you going? Real talk, where are you going? He's just gonna fight him. Okay. I'd, I'd, I like it better if you just ran away and... If you could kill one before you leave though, that's cool. Alright, you did kill one. Alrighty. Little by little, we're gonna take him down, I guess. We're just being scumbags about it. Just uh, do a little sneak attacks on the goblins. For all you know, the goblins are probably cool guys. They're just, you know, there to kind of survive, and we're the ones kind of impeding in dirt. You don't have a bed, I know. I, I apologize. I need wood, though. Let's uh, see if we can get this thing down. Any more trees about? No, we need to start planting some trees, as a matter of fact. So that's something I might do shortly. That's still growing over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see, uh... Where is the roots? Uh, some plant roots can be used for making potions and spices, yeah. Or they could also be used to, I'd imagine, um, grow some trees, so maybe? Let's, uh, take this out. So, does it work that I have to first, uh, take out the backside and then put this in? No, that's not how it works. I guess it doesn't work that way. Huh. Okay. I guess we'll just wait till, um, oh god damn it. Maybe put a portal over here and get this, uh, let's get all this stone, how about that? Let's put a portal over here, get a stone thing going on, and we'll get to work over here. Where is my bed? Dude, you are in a bad situation over here, let me tell you. Um, I, I don't want to build you, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> a ladder. <laughs> here, here, here's the portal, go through there. Go ahead, go through there. Don't go don't go through the fucking walls. Okay, we need that. And uh okay. Cool. So they knocked down this tree that'll probably give me enough to uh make a, a bed for that home dude over there who's kind of arguing about not having a bed. Not that I you know not that I blame him. I'd be kinda mad too if I didn't have a bed. Alright, this razorback is kinda just chilling here. I don't really like the cut of his jig, so maybe maybe one of my stronger dudes could kinda take him down without causing me too much grief. Alrighty, and really quickly, let's put this over here, and also... Another thing over there. Um, why don't you just go... Why don't you just jump over? Where are you going? Okay. I thought you were trying to get over the wall, and you couldn't figure out how to do it. Okay, so now that it's done with over here... Ah, uh, we're jumping through there. You are under attack. Who is under attack? Oh, I guess because we're fighting the Razorback now? Prop. Yep. Take that Razorback now. Oh, he's running away from me. Yeah. Pussy Azri. Oh, God. There goes our portal. Where are you running off to? Okay. Uh, you're just going to stare at the wall, essentially. That's what you're doing. It's like, oh, I'm just going to stare here. Don't, don't mind me. Okay, how about we, uh... 
for now. I, I guess let's build a door there. Uh, so let's put this wooden door in place of the roots that kind of failed on me. My experiment with the door failed, so put that right there. Actually, you know what? Remove the front one, I suppose. Now it's gonna work out. And we also can essentially now craft the uh, simple bed, I'd imagine, for the other dude that needed a bed. There you go. Let's build two just in case we get another dude as well. I don't want him complaining like, oh, I don't go to bed. It's like, you know what, dude? We all take our turns, unfortunately. You know what? If you wanted a bed, you should have got here earlier. Everybody else did. Why didn't you? Oh, because you hadn't leveled up enough to catch me. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Okay, so let's put another bed right there, I'd imagine. Get that built, and then we'll have another dude to be able to sleep right there. Okay. Put the door right there. And let's see if I could quickly put a section for me over here. Hi, oh, look, you're over here sniping this guy. <laughs> this guy's pretty badass. Okay, go get him. Make sure he doesn't run away. Snipe him. Oh, this guy's a this guy's a maniac. He's just fighting all these guys. <laughs> you're a hunter. You're not supposed to fight him that way. You're missing the point of your class. No, don't get the chicken. He's done nothing to you. This is pretty cool. Just watching this guy go go to work on this guy. <laughs> He's such an asshole. Look at him. He just waits till he leaves and he snipes him. Nice. That's a good way to abuse the AI. I like it. I like it. My AI is abusing the AI. It's pretty cool. Alright, so is everybody, like, sleeping or trying to get some sleep done, I'd imagine? Hopefully. No, these guys are just kind of re roaming in the water, it seems. Here. There you go. That's a portal, you idiots. Okay. So, how about this, guys? Uh, maybe you could build that door for me? And as soon as you do that, we could get you some of you guys to go to sleep and get some food and... Whatever you have to do. So let's close that door up. Okay. That's the end. Let's take down these little gat dudes that are just kind of roaming around in our fucking base because it's really annoying the hell out of me. Okay. And what's going on over here? Uh, oh wow! We've actually taken down all the goblins but the leader! Um... You gotta attack him, though. You're you're kind of missing him. All right. Well, <laughs> pretty cool. But you are missing him still, so uh, you gotta do a little bit better on that. Okay. So what are my my guys doing? As a matter of fact, right now they are get some sleep. All right. Select dwarf and go rest. Like you know, any dwarf that needs to rest, just go rest right now. Get it out of the way. Select dwarf and go rest. Select dwarf, and he's actually good. Go eat, though. Get some food in you. What about your pro? What's your problem here? Select this dwarf, and uh, he's pretty good. Go get some food, though. How about that? I'm not entirely sure what this dude is even trying to do. Look here. What I want you to do is really simple. It's just go get some fucking rest. Jump over this. Okay, climb over this. There you go. Now I'm going to release you and go get some food. Simple, right? Really simple. Alrighty. I want to make sure everybody's kind of fold up and held. Uh, probably an easier way for me to do this. So I'm going to, yeah, do a quick menu. How about that? Health. Uh, Diarg could use a little bit of health. And so could Gordain. Where is Gordain? Gordain over here fighting this guy still? No, this is Quain. Okay, I appreciate what you're trying to do. The thing is that you're missing so much in trying to do it. Let me put a portal right there. Maybe some of these guys will come and make a pat for you. Oh, there you go. You're getting him now. There you go. Fuck his life up. Oh, he actually took down his uh, base already. You know what? Um, I gave this guy a bad rap. He was doing our <laughs> he was doing God's work in a sense. My work is I'm essentially the dwarf god. Like, not literally, but in a metaphorical sense, I'd imagine. All right, there you go. So that goblin camp taken care of. We're fucking ballers. Oh, this looks like coal right here, I think. All right. This looks like coal as well. I'm not sure if it is. It looks like it. All righty. So, um, there you go. Uh, people seem to have gotten some food and not bad altogether. And let's see. Can this door, like, face the outside way? Oh, I'd have to build it over here? Why? Right. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, I guess it does. Oh, god damn. It's gonna really bother me. So remove wooden door for now. And build another one over here, and then we'll 
Yeah, make it face that way. That's how it should be facing. Alright, I know you guys can kind of go and build this for me. And let's see here, I'd imagine that we are now good to make this... Well, actually, we need to uh, remove this guy. And this guy. And let's put our... What is it, our scaffolding back up into our section here, and we will use scaffolding to build this wall over here and this one over here. Uh, we could also build some ladders, and that's probably what I should be doing as well, just so that uh, we don't have to build... Oh, we actually have two ladders, which is more than enough, I'd imagine. Let me get ourselves one more, though. I think we have the wood for it right now. Alrighty. Now the ladder right so, and again, I gotta equip that ladder, though. So let's put the ladder right next... Oh, set of the food. We got a door right there and the scaffolding. Good to go. Alright, so really quickly, let's remove these guys. Let's set up ladders like so. And then, since we have room for it now, let's set up right here. And let's see. It's right here. Scaffolding all across. This will be our second area, so to say. And it sounds like one of my dwarves is having sex here. What is, uh, what are you guys doing when I'm not looking at you? Oh, this guy's having, like, the most hardest time of his life over here. Oh, dwarf. Do I really have to take control of it? I guess I do. There you go, you imbecile. Yeah. <laughs> From one of them to the other one. Can you, um, just mine this, maybe? No? Can't mine it. Uh, mine this out really quick. Let me go over here for you, and walk, walk, stop not walking. All right, get over here, good. Now can you gather water? There you go, see? All right, just keep doing it, keep doing it. You got it, you got it, there you go. Uh-huh. I have to do this manually, unfortunately, because they're too retarded to gather water by themselves. There you go, good, right? See? That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad at all. See, you over here drowning for no real reason. All you have to do is just do that. Really simple mechanic, believe me. All right, guys. So, let's see here what is going on. Kind of a peaceful night. I'm kind of liking it, to be quite honest. So, let me just release this man here. And, unfortunately, he's going to have a hard time. So, here's a portal for you so you can just kind of jump in there. How is our base looking? A little bit better, that's for sure. And, I guess we need more scaffolding over on this side. So, let's actually move the scaffolding over to here. Just to make it easier for them, and... Alright. What are you guys up to? Okay, well... Quite honestly, I, I think I've, uh... Jesus Christ, these guys sound like they're in fucking pain. <laughs> oh, we do need that sheep, though. I, I do believe I needed, uh, more, uh... Oh, no, it landed right in the water, though. Well, this is terrible. I don't know sure how I'm gonna even get all this water. Oh, he's gonna actually go all the way down like a boss and get it. Now he's stuck. Oh, dwarf man, you're gonna drown. <laughs> you need to get up, bro. Okay, maybe we could kind of uh, have these guys gather some of this water because it's kind of really uh, troubling what could happen here if they don't. And uh, I suppose it wouldn't be bad to give them a little portal right there so they can kind of uh, do that a little bit faster. Uh, this does not need to be collected anymore. Kind of gather water over here. Let's get all this fucking water out of the way. It's really pains the hell out of me because these dwarves are so, like, anti-water. It's kind of ridiculous. What is this guy doing over here? Oh, man, I have to take control of you two. Here, uh, select dwarf, take control. Let's go ahead and, uh... Okay, look, let me get you out of the way momentarily here. That's not what I was trying to do, unfortunately, but okay. Hang on. No, I ga just gather the goddamn water. Water. Oh, I guess my pack is filled up, though. Oh, man, there's really nothing for him over here, too. All right, so, let me release some, you go away, and maybe, hopefully, one of these guys can come and collect some water soonish. Okay. Not exactly what I'm going to do, but at least something. All right, guys, so how about we just end up the episode here? I think we've done more than enough for today. This is actually going to be the second batch of recordings, so, again, this will be the last day where I actually... Um, before the cutoff, before I get to read your new comments and actually uh, take more advice in and whatnot. So, uh, just keep that in mind for um, any advice that I haven't really put into play just yet, even though you've told me to do so. It's uh, gonna get done doing the next time I record, but at least for now, we are doing a lot better than we were. Obviously not the most uh, good-looking base imaginable out there, 
But um, at least it's something, and we have our horde about to go down, so that's something to look forward for next episode. So either way, guys, uh, hopefully you're the video, hopefully you're the series, and um, there's more good things to come since I'm at least kind of understanding the system a bit better. Okay, right, guys, I'll catch you guys next time.